losing Charlie. Fury A. Battery is ashes. Lost Charlie. Alpha secure. Looking good. Continue on. Losing A. Return. Sensors are captured. Alright, what's going on, you guys? <clears throat> I just got a couple of questions for this game mode, safeguard. I was under the impression that this right here was fixed. The robot is doing a full on 40, da 40 yard dash sprint. This man, I thought this was fixed months ago. This is my first time playing it in a while. And look at that, we're already in the middle of the map. They just sprinted all the way out there. And I don't know how Treyarch can fix this, but I could have sworn I saw a commentary saying that this was fixed. I heard about it about two months ago or so. And I don't know. Sometimes I just wonder about Treyarch. Like, they do some pretty good things, but they be lacking in some certain areas. I mean, look at this. It's only about to be a minute, and we're just about to like, put it in a base. So, and this is a problem for safeguard because this is a pretty good game mode. If you know, if you're not really worried about leveling up quick or streaks, you could you should play safeguard. But if this is still gonna keep happening after what are we six months or something into this game, then that's a problem. Especially considering that this is a new game mode for this game, and they might want to introduce it in the next COD or whatever it would be. So. They need to iron out this stuff. I mean, look at this. We're about to win already. And the game literally just started. It's ridiculous. I, mean, I like when there's like a struggle to get it there. But when it's really like this simple to really get the robot to the base, then it's like, what's the point of even playing it? But that's just me. I just feel like Treyarch is just he's slipping up on certain areas, man. You gotta, you gotta pick up the pace. But nonetheless... I'm still enjoying the DLC. I still think it's a pretty good map pack, contrary to popular beliefs so far. But look, now there's certain times where the robot is just stuck in place and it's still running. So at this point, it's, it's making this game mode unplayable. Cause it's like sometimes it's like a team is at absolute odds. Cause now when they tried to move the robot, he wasn't going anywhere. So technically, they should have won this round. Well, you know, it's, it's kind of spoiled. They're not gonna win this round, but this is just ex this is just showcasing a recurring problem with this game mode. And this is the first time I've seen it. I didn't think that this was going on, and maybe it has something to do with the maps that we're playing on. Because when I was playing on the stock maps, I've never even seen this, and I know it's occurred before the DLCs came out. But for me, I've never seen it happen until I downloaded the DLC. Maybe it's the DLC actually. Uh, maybe the DLC is bad luck. But other than that, I'm just hoping that they fix this because I don't know. I may want to, you know, play it a little bit more every now and then. And hopefully they get their act together. Because this is a game mode that you could play just for like real frantic gameplay. It's not something to really level up in, but. If you really want like fast action or whatever, you can get it with this game mode. But yeah. Anyway, if if they're gonna keep um introducing like DLC and everything, they need to like iron out the problems with the stock game first. Cause then when you think about it, some people is gonna be reluctant to even well, I was one of those people. Some people are gonna be reluctant to even spend more money on the game. Because it's like if you have these problems occurring for months, then why should I even pay more money towards this game? So that's just a little question and food for thought that I have. And hopefully within the next, well, I don't know, it might be a while. I haven't really seen people complain about it too often. But at the same time, I just want to say that Treyarch, this is a good game mode. You got something going on. I mean, they're not listening, but it always makes me feel better to adjust the match trade off. And uh, hopefully that they get this ironed out, because look, 
The robot is still stuck in place. See, the guy's right next to it. And it, just, it was not moving. So it's putting their team at a disadvantage. And even though I was, you know, not on the receiving end of that, still, it's not, it's not, it's not fun for either side. At least for me. Because if you want an easy win, then it might be fun for you. But I like to play and, like, at least fight for the win. That's what makes the game a game. You don't play it just for easy wins. At least not for me. I don't get fun out of just completely destroying people all the time. It may be some fun sometimes, but not all the time. But um, I'm kind of just rambling on here. One thing I have to say, real quick, is DLC two. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Eclipse. I haven't seen any uh trailer for it yet or anything like that. But I might, I might get it because I just need more maps to just drown out the stock maps that came with this game because like I said in my last commentary I cannot stand those maps anymore after playing the free trial I, I can't stand to play on fringe and, and fringe is like some people really like fringe but to be honest I don't think it's a fun map at all for any game mode I just I just think it's not a fun game and well it's not a fun map not a fun game and hopefully DLC 2 will be alright. I mean, I'm considering spending money on the season pass, but some people say it's not worth it because of the whole supply drop weapons thing that's going on. And that is uh, another commentary for another day. I, I've been having a bunch of issues with getting the weapons in this game. And it's just like, I got everything that I don't need and everything that I want is like whatever it's like oh i got a wrench but i'm not i'm never going to use it pretty much but that's about it i'm just i'm just going to show this glitch real quick hopefully you guys aren't dealing with this too much because this is really ridiculous now i mean this is a really good game mode that they introduced and it's being ruined by the simplest glitch i'm not a engineer or anything but hopefully it's something easy to deal with but I'll see you guys around.